You were always a great rapper, you just hadn't found your voice. And looking back, he was absolutely right. But when we hear it, we're like, oh my goodness. I'm rarely impressed with myself. That's crazy. I'm rarely impressed with myself. What? I tell myself I'm whack all the time. You know what I said? I said this to Shooter in, after whack dropped. I was like, nah, I'm just going to go, go live my life, you know, get my heart broken a few times. Mm. I shouldn't have said that because it <laughs> happened, bro. <laughs> it happened. Oh, no. oh my devastated God. You. Oh, no. I manifested oh, no. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but the universe yeah, yeah, yeah. went, oh, that's oh, okay. what you want to write okay. about? That's what See, you want to do? Shut And then Stogie likes two of them in a row, comments on one of them, okay. right? DMs me. I'm like, whoa, what's whoa. going on? Not even a received thanks, nothing. Just goes quiet. I'm like, oh my God. I miss yep. I'm a terrible rapper. I should quit. I should stick to acting. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that. That's what's going on in my mind. For me, how I know I'm on the right path is that the music didn't get real recognition until I started telling the truth. Mm. That's how I know I'm supposed mm. to be here. You know? Okay. When I was lying, I was getting like 33 listens and 33 plays on my SoundCloud. But now, you know, the numbers are different. It's and I started out. telling the truth. And you're live on Dead Radio. Welcome to another very, very special episode of Dead Radio with your boy Ini. And today we have a very, very special guest in the building. We're going to let her introduce herself, then we're going to get into her life story. And you know how we do, extract those jewels for you guys to use in your everyday lives. So without further ado, yeah. What's up? It's Zulu Mecca, um, actress, rapper, writer, up and coming sex symbol. Mm, mm. <laughs> I love that one. That's the most important one. It's the most important That's one. The most important I'm still one. up and coming, you know, yeah. I still have to prove myself. You know what I'm saying? You. I'm on I the way. <laughs> How are you doing today? I am fantastic today, actually. How are love you it. doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah. bit chilly outside, but it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This weather had us fooled a few Yo, days ago. Dog. We thought we were getting a little warm. Uh -uh. Nope. No. Reverted. <laughs> um, let's start your story from the beginning. Yeah. Where were you born? Where did you grow up? I, I was born in Durban, oh. raised in Durban. Okay. Um, and I'm based in Johannesburg now, but, you know, that move was, was for work. But otherwise, you know, my roots are... You know, and and Durban. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about Mandisa as a young girl. Uh, were you an introvert? Were you an extrovert? Did you have a lot of friends? Were you bubbly? Mm. Were you shy? It's a, it's a tricky one because um, I, was, I was a bit of both. What do they say? Ambivert. I think ah, that's what they call yes, it these yes. days. Um, but it's like who I was as a person, who I was at home. I was very quiet. I was uh, raised an only child, so okay. so it was just me and my thoughts pretty much most of the time. It's only, you know, when I got on stage because I used to do like from very young, you know, when they called it speech and drama. Okay. I used to do that when I was very young. So it's only when I switched over and I got on stage, or I would do, you know, things even with my friends where we'd pretend to be on radio, be on TV, and be presenters. Okay. That's when you saw the extrovert. In Come out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're able to turn the light on and off, basically, I, and flip between both of these. I have when to. You need to. It's how I stay alive. I, get I have you. to. <laughs> I get you. And then you getting on stage. Yeah. What pushed you to do that? Like as a shy kid. Yeah. I don't know. I I can't even say there was one specific moment. Okay. I just knew it. I enjoyed it. I, I just knew it felt Good. more comfortable actually at the time than like interactions like this and actually Personal, speaking to yes, people yes, yeah I, yes. I felt more comfortable on stage okay. i knew that people liked seeing me on stage okay. and i enjoyed that people enjoyed me okay um, i, I like that feeling you know of, of of being you know an entertainer and you know that's 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 what my name means uh, my, my actual name Mandisa. Mandisa. Yeah, Mandisa. Okay. I make things nice. I bring entertainment you know what i'm saying so you were destined to do what you do before you knew what your name even meant, right? I, I believe that 100%. I yeah, believe that 100%. names have a funny way of predetermining your destiny, yeah, right? Yeah. And that's why it's like, yo, parents need to be very careful what they name Ooh, their kids, right? Because, absolutely. <sighs> you have to speak life 
yeah. over 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 your child yeah. and i and and i yeah names are names are spells yeah they are you know they are. They are. so what what they spell are. are you casting on this person's, on this life, person's life you know is yeah. it something they're gonna have to fight all their lives to break out of yeah. or is it something they step into and embrace and, you know what i mean I you have to light their that. path you yeah. know with yeah. that name okay yeah. so Mandisa from a young girl mm. transitioning to a teenager. Mm. Um, what happens in your life? Uh, do you start developing other interests or do you zone more into theater or like performance? Um, <clears throat> I'd say I also discovered as well as the stage part, I also discovered the music part the music. at the same time. Okay. Um, the stage part was just easier, yeah. right? Yeah. Because they, yeah. you know, they school plays, they aren't school rap shows, yeah. <laughs> you know what Thanks. I mean? Thanks. It was just easier to Thanks. sort of stay in that lane. Okay. But I discovered rap music pretty much at, at the same time and right. I was like, wow, I, this is cool, I wanna do this. What are you listening to at that time? The first, uh, bit of hip-hop I was introduced to um, was from a neighbor of mine and he was a teenager at the time and he used to play hip-hop all the time and I used to like be that annoying little girl just like going knock on his door Yo, who's this what's, what's this, this? What's, you know and, and and he would you know be very patient and graceful with me um, and, and I'm I suppose I'm very blessed because that was pretty much what got me into the love of hip-hop and remember when um, People magazine used to have those lyrics oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so he had a lot of those for rap songs and the first um, song I ever learned was Eminem Stan crazy and that crazy. I was just like I was you know I was, uh, what was the English? I was captivated by that because he was telling a story yes. and there was character yes. and there yes. was narrative yes. and I was like, yes. this is what I want to do. Okay. And that sort of mode of storytelling informed a lot of how I write uh -huh. today. Yeah. Damn, Stan. Stan, okay. that was the first, that got me in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the Marshall Mellors LP was the first rap album I ever bought. And I remember one day I came home and I was playing it on the computer and I had my earphones in and I left to go do something else and then when I came back I found my father listening to it. I was like, yo! <laughs> That's when you... I was like, you can't be listening to... Not I know me. I can't be listening to that, but you really yeah. can't be listening he, to that. But yeah. He, he, he says uh, some wild stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just the intro of that yeah. album. Crazy. Okay, yeah. so now... You fall in love with the music, yeah, right? Yeah. When do you start putting pen to pad? Um, I would say that was the beginning of high school. Okay. You know, I okay. just knew more words at that time. Ah. I was quite an avid reader okay. as well. I still, you know, I don't have as much time to read, but mm. I love to read still. Okay. Um, but yeah, I was an avid reader at that time. And I was like, how can I take all these words that I know and make them work for me okay. you know so i started jotting some stuff down early high school um it wasn't very good of course not uh, of course. anyone who tells me you know, at 13 14 there's no way there's oh no way God. Yeah. i was like yeah. i would I'd be like i remember the one i'll, I'll actually <laughs> share with you rest. it's like yeah. two bars well one bar actually yeah. But I was like doing things like I'd be sitting in history class and then I'd be writing about it, right? Uh -huh. But I'd be like, oh, I'm sitting in history. It's such a mystery. Uh -huh. I'm sitting yeah. in misery. I was, like, I, was that, I was that rapper. Oh my goodness. But it, it. Was, but it was, you know, me trying to sort of find yeah, your voice. my voice yeah. and, and, and what I try to rap about. And I yeah. did go through that phase where I would use all the big words I know. Mm. But I feel like every rapper has to go through that phase yes, yes. so you can get to a point where you simplify. Mm. You know, do too much first. So then you know what that feels like and I then you can sort that. of simplify. Because simplifying yeah. is actually the challenging part. Yes, yes. We all know a lot of words. Yes. We can all put them in a row and call yes. that rap. Yes. But that's not necessarily rap. Yes. Where the real challenge comes in for me, where the work comes in, is when you simplify it without losing the art. Yeah. Damn, I love that. Yeah. Um, were you rapping with friends? Like, who else were you rapping with at that time? No one. Nobody rapped. Did people except... even know that? Yeah, yeah, okay. they, they did. I made sure they did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, I would be like, you know, hear me out, listen yeah. to this. And I don't know if, you know, they were particularly interested, but it was nice to have someone to listen, listen to what I'm doing, you yeah. know. Um, and then from there, I started 
you know, in high school, then you, you have those, you know, sort of fashion shows and stuff mm. where you can incorporate mm. the music. So I started rapping on those fashion shows. Yeah. You know, I started volunteering and it, yeah. you know what I mean? So that, that also, then the stage thing, mm. you know, I could combine the theater yeah, and the music. Them, right? Exactly, yeah. So I've always heard that theater is the best form of art because it allows you to bring in so many components mm. from the acting to the singing. And I've always thought, damn, that, that's such an interesting perspective yeah. of bringing all these things together. Okay, yeah. so the end of high school. What's your perspective on the world in terms of career path? What are you thinking at that time? And you're live on Dead Radio. <laughs> And you're live on Dead Radio. I was always pretty decided in okay. what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to, to be an entertainer. Okay. I told my mom and I said, you know, this is what I want to do. And she's like, hey, as, as long as you can find a job and make a living, I'm cool. So f from the subjects I picked in high school, I did drama, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do, I knew science, all of those things mm. were not for me. Mm. So I did drama, I did history, I did, you know, the English and things where I could express myself. I loved essays. Give me an essay any day yeah, over really. like a sum, you know? I don't, yeah. don't give me a formula, you know, I want to write, I want to I want to use words. So I picked those subjects. Um, and even when I left high school, and I was applying to varsity, I knew. I said, I'm gonna do drama, I'm gonna do media studies, I'm gonna do film studies, I'm gonna do all of those. Yeah, yeah you, you know? Decided, I was this is my very decided. Okay. I, I, I felt like I had no choice. I felt like this is what I was supposed to do. Yeah. And it felt very comfortable. I get that. And I knew I was gonna be successful. I hear you that. know? Yo, um, so beautiful. Yeah, girl. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, life, life humbled me of after that, and you know, it sort of, you, you know, you're snapped back to reality, but, but, but I did, leaving high school, going into varsity, I, I, I just had a feeling, I was like, all of this talent in me, all of this purpose that I feel inside me has to go somewhere. Mm. It can't stop. I, can't, I have to direct it. Exactly. Okay. And it's going to get to where it needs to be. Okay. It doesn't matter when that happens, it's going to happen. I knew that, you know, okay. like, and I acted as if I knew that. I was very confident. So, so going into varsity, the music is sort of taking like a, a back seat because yeah. I, I don't know what to do with it. I yeah. don't know anybody or no one around me is rapping, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I focus then on the acting and the, the theater okay. and, you know, I study. Um, and then as part of the performance studies in drama that I did in varsity, there was a, a semester where we did slam poetry. Okay. And there I shone. Hey, yeah. I thrive yeah. because yeah. I already had this love for for a particular way of delivering, you know, spoken word. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, uh, Rhythm we, we and did poetry. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I already had that as a foundation, at least you know, an emotional foundation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so yeah, I, I I did slam poetry and I did very well. I remember I won. We had like a competition at the end of the year for the whole varsity and I won that competition. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I made my way back into rap okay. because there were rappers in that crowd and they came to me and they're like, do you rap? I'm like, no, not really. You were being and shy. I, I was being shy, but also at the time I realized I didn't know uh, practically what rap meant because I didn't know what a bar was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what a 16 was. Okay. I didn't know those things. I just wrote and whenever I stopped is when I stopped. Is when you, that's when the verse that's is when done. That's when the verse is done. Okay. I didn't know how to count bars. I didn't know the sort of technical parts mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. But that's what then I was taught after that, you know. Okay. Um, uh, this, this rapper um, called, uh, his name is Emphasis. Ooh. And he... Shout he, out to Emphasis. <laughs> shout out to Emphasis. But yeah, he came up to me after that and he's like, yo, if you want me to, I'll teach you how to do this thing properly. Yo. And I was like, let's go. Yo, shout out to You know, him. yeah. So, so you know, he, 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 he got me writing. He got me in studio for the first time, like a professional studio. So, mm. so he was pretty much very, very fundamental to, mm. to the birth of myself okay. as a rapper. You know. Um, what was your first rap name? 
Um, no, I'm not gonna. St I'm not gonna tell you that. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you that because I still have some music out there in the world that under those under that aliases, okay. and I've so had yes. a few. Okay. And I and I don't I don't know if I'm comfortable with people discovering how I used to rap okay. because I know that I've put so much work into into who I am now as an artist. Yes, I, yes. I almost yes. am 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 like against what you stood for. What I, yeah, I, what I stood for, and also like I was like not very honest in my raps. And everybody, I mean, rappers lie, right? Rappers lie, we know that. But I was lying, lying. Okay. I was just okay. rapping about things that I. I got the Rari outside. Oh, I'm in the, the club. Yeah, I'm in the club. Popping <laughs> bottles. Oh. It's terrible. Okay. So I just, I don't, I, the reason why I won't tell you those other names is just because I know that there's some music there if you type in the name that still, you know, exists and I don't know. I, that's like my own little yeah. secret. I, I I'll take that. that to the I grave. I mean, those who know, know, you know. Yeah. I, I did have a few people that really liked what I was doing at the time. Okay. But it really was, uh, I wasn't telling the truth ever at all. <laughs> I love how honest that is. Mm. Um, because, yeah, rap is like full of a lot of lies, yeah. right? And even us as consumers, it's like, yeah, we know you're lying, but like it gives us a feeling. You're transmitting a For feeling. Sure. You know it's, that, I mean? it's motivation. I, I get that. And aspiration. Yeah. But uh, the lines get blurred now because people take the music and then they actually go and live their lives to this exactly. music. Exactly. Okay. And, and, that, and that's where I think rappers have to be very careful. If you're gonna, if you're, if you're gonna say, you know, that, that rap, made you a millionaire mm. there's somebody there that's seven years old thinking they don't have to finish school because they True. can just rap and become a millionaire <clears throat> and so it's like you have to be very careful yes. about the things you yes. say and i think that's part of why i i cringe when i think about the way i used to write okay. because i was like man what what was my plan okay okay what was my plan yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's not your fault but you're in a position where at least you realize that yeah. you're spreading lies. For sure, you know for I mean? sure. And, and, and <clears throat> for me, how I know I'm on the right path is that the music didn't get real recognition until I started telling the truth. Mm. That's how I know I'm supposed mm. to be here. You know? okay. When I was lying, I was getting like 33 listens and 33 plays on my SoundCloud, but now, you know, the numbers are different and I started out. telling the truth, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so, end of Varsity, yeah. um, what happens next? Do you start, <clears throat> does the acting pick up or are you still focused on the music and where are you at this time? Are you in KZN or are you in Joburg at this time? So when I was in Varsity, I auditioned for a show called Class Act which was on SABC One and it was a reality acting competition. So it was like idols, but for acting. Dope. Yeah, only two seasons of it took place, but it launched a lot of I feel careers. like they need to bring that back. Like, <clears throat> there was some, there was some uh, controversy with the producers. Okay, and, okay, okay. And okay. yeah, SABC One was like, we don't want nothing to do with it. Where they're abusing their power. Yeah. Yeah. Guys always abuse their power. And it was such a it was such a good show, and it was a great platform, and like a, lo a lot of the actors you see working came today from there. came from there. Okay. Yeah. So I I auditioned for it while I was still in Durban. The show obviously was taking place in up Europe, here, yeah. so I made it past the, all the audition stages to make it onto the top ten. I got uh, all the way up to the finals. I was the runner up for that show. So, so people really got to see my acting chops there. Right? People really got that. to see what I can do as an actor. So that's just what took off first okay. because I'd already put myself on the okay. biggest channel, yes. you know, yes. in, in, in SA yes. and, and people knew it. So I went back to school. I finished my, I got my degree. I finished my studies and then I officially moved up to Joburg. Okay. When I moved up to Joburg, acting was easier because mm. you audition you get the role sometimes, sometimes you don't, but sometimes. you audition, you get the role, you work, you get money. With music, I was like, man, this needs a whole lot of investment. It does, it does. It's not like an immediate return. I, I feel like a lot of people don't understand how expensive it is yeah. to become a musician. Yes. Like, it's so pricey, yeah. especially if you're independent. It's exactly. like, dude, and that's why, like, 
Jay when he came into the game, they mm. came in with 900k, and that 900 was from street exactly. activity. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's such a tricky thing, <clears throat> even for any independent label out there. Exactly. Like it's, it's super pricey. F fun, funds are, are hard to come by because yeah. if you think about getting the beat, recording, mixing, mastering, rollout yes. for your yes. for your marketing, yes. you know, music, music video, video oh. just general like being seen is so expensive. Already it's like 50,000 rand. Exactly. Where are you going to get 50,000 rand? Exactly. From? So yeah. I, I was like, you know, let me focus on the thing. I got rent to pay. I, you know, I just got in a car, all of those things. Mm. Let me focus on, on the, acting. the acting. And yeah. you know, you know, then Gradually. that happened. Um, yeah. So I put the music on a backbone. I, I'll, I'll drop like a few singles, you know? I dropped yeah. like, I, never a project before 2020, but I dropped like a few singles here and there. I had a few performances. I even joined, um, I was a part of a group called Clutch Collective, ah. which was, you yes. know, three female rappers, uh, myself, Genius Illusion and DK did it. And they were on Vuzu Hustle. Oh, yeah, DK, okay. DK and Gina. So, so I'd known them since Durban because we're all from KZN. Okay. Um, so yeah, we like, yeah, we joined, we made a group, but it didn't really work out because yeah. also it's that thing of like, where's the money going to come yeah, from to make how this, is this gonna How is this going to happen, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that disbanded. Um, but yeah, the music, I never really was as active on that as I was with the acting. Okay. Because yeah, the acting was just... The money came back quicker. And it was paying the bills. And, and that's what I had to focus on. Real thing. That's what right. I had to focus on. I was like, there's no way I'm going back home to Durban. I, I have to make it. So I have to focus on the thing that, that feeds me right okay. now. And, and music just wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. And I think also I wasn't there, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't think I was good enough, to be quite honest, for people to really take a chance on me. Because I had the conversations, I would bump into people and I would have the conversations and you can see that people, as in with executives, mm, mm. and they'd be like, okay, but if I sign you, how am I going to market you? Yes, yes. So it was an image thing. I'm like, you know what I mean? It was all sorts of things that I don't know if I was ready for as an artist. Mm. You know, I didn't know who I was in terms of my style as well. I didn't, I didn't found my voice. You know, when, when I dropped music under, the, you know, the name Zulu Mecca, and I was speaking to Stogie. Stogie was like, you were always a great rapper. You just hadn't found your voice. Mm. And looking back, he was absolutely right, yes. you know? So I don't think I was ready as well, okay. you know? So I focused on the acting until 2020 COVID lockdown. That's such a huge moment for so many people. Yeah. Like, a lot of people's lives changed in that period. Like Absolutely. So what happens? Now you're at home, <coughs> you yeah. can't go and act. The show I was supposed to start shooting in February, end of February, uh, says, guys, we're hearing things, we're hearing we not, not, might not be able to shoot some things in the water. Mm. No one knows really exactly what it is what's at going the time. On, yeah. But they're like, okay, no, let's just wait till like March. We wait till March, end of March. Boom. Boom. Let's go. You know? Yeah, now we're all stuck in the <clears throat> And now, you know, I haven't budgeted for this break. Of course. Because for me, I was shooting in February. Yeah. You know, I had it, I've, I had budgeted from to get me. From the money that's yeah. going to come from. Exactly. I, need, I was getting to February, then I was going to work, then I was going to earn, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and then I was like, no ways. Like, I'm going to go crazy. Mm -hmm. Sitting at home, not knowing yeah. where the next paycheck is going to come from. I'm gonna go crazy. So I took the money I had in my savings and I set up a studio at home. Okay. And this is just like, this is like a studio in a box. You know, they yes, sell yes, those yeah, studio in a box. Yeah, yes, so yes, I got the yes. studio in a box. I have my laptop, I get another monitor. I get the, you know, the speakers, the studio monitors. I get like everything I need, right? But like the cheapest of everything mm, I of need course. just to get by. I'm on YouTube because I'm, I'm doing nothing. Mm. I'm on YouTube for hours how to make a beat, yes. how to record, I how love to... YouTube for that very Exactly. Fact. It's the greatest university of all time. 100% agree. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that, that's, that's how I, I then was forced back into the music. Okay. You know, because I feel like if, if COVID didn't happen, I would still be like, honestly, I'd still be like dropping singles here and there. And we would have been deprived yeah. of all these amazing verses. Thank you. 
Damn. Yeah. Okay, so the name Zulu Mecca. Yeah. Right? When does that come and how do you even get <clears throat> to settling on Zulu Mecca? Because Zulu culture, Mecca religious? Or Yeah, so 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 what where that came from is <clears throat> the name that I had before. And like I said, I just had a lot of aliases, right? Yeah. But the one that I had at that point I was just like, it, something's not landing. Something's mm. not feeling like this is who I am, mm. right? Mm. So I prayed. I prayed over it. I said, um, and this is even before, um, this is even before I, I, you know, thought of dropping anything, anything in that yeah. phase. I was just like, I need to know that the next thing I drop is dropped under who I really am. Mm. And I prayed over it and I was like, please show me where I'm supposed to go. Please guide me give me a name mm. who, who who am i supposed to be mm. according to your purpose yeah, for me yeah. and i dreamt that name i dreamt exactly that name i saw it i woke up i wrote it down i went back to sleep okay. <laughs> but what it was for me was zulu in my language of is zulu means yeah. heaven mm. mecca means apart from the religious connotations okay. mecca means a place where people gather you know, like people say the Mecca of fashion or yes, the Mecca yes, of... Yes, yes, yes. So for me, I was speaking life over my music. I, w I was drawing people in, yeah. speaking that a place where people can gather, but also a place where people can feel safe spiritually, feel like they found where they need to be spiritually. That's what I was speaking over my music with that name. Yeah. And it makes so much sense. Thank you. You spoke about Stogie T. Yeah. So when does, because I think that's how I discovered you, yeah, right? Yeah. In lockdown, going through, because at that time, we're not doing anything. So I'm just yeah. looking for new music and new artists and new vibes, right? So I discover food and liquor. Mm. I'm like, who is Zulu Mecca <laughs> who got a feature from Stogie T? Mm. Because he doesn't do that for just anyone, right? And I pressed play, and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it makes sense why he gave her a feature. How does that even happen? So after I set up my studio and I'm teaching myself how to do everything, all these technical things, I start to record these little freestyles, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, freestyles. Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, it's just one verse, you know, a verse can be a minute long, a verse yes. can be two minutes long, a verse can be, you know, 30 seconds long. But I just start writing and recording these things that I didn't even know <clears throat> people would want to hear. It was just what's on my heart and on my spirit at the time. Mm. And when I record these things, I'm like, let me just post them on my Instagram. So I start like, you know, I put like a little, my little iPhone at the time yeah. there, and I'm yeah. sitting in a chair and I've got my shades on yeah. and I start rapping along, you know what I mean? I've got a hat on, you know? Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not a great iPhone. The videos are very grainy, but I'm like, okay, let me just put these things on Instagram. Mm. And I start putting these freestyles on Instagram. And then Stogie likes two of them in a row, comments on one of them, okay. right? DMs me. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? And then he said at the time he was doing Freestyle Friday. Yes, I remember and that. He's like, I need you for, I need that energy for Freestyle Friday. Let's go. I'm like, say less. So I do two Freestyle Fridays, right? Mm. Um, I do two Freestyle Fridays. I post, I think, one of my Freestyle Fridays on Instagram, and then he comments on that, and he's mm. like, yo, I need a feature. I need it. I say it. That's crazy. I'm shaking, though, yeah. at this point, because I'm like, man, nothing like this has ever happened to me. Nothing this big has ever happened to me, you know, like, in terms of the music. Mm. So now i got to find a beat that's worthy of mm, this man. Mm, mm, mm. I can't make the beat because I'm that, bad at that for that now, pressure. but i got to buy the beat, and I, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like the pressure of now meeting him at his level yeah, of professionalism yeah. when I'm not used to that. Mm. I'm mm. very new to this world, yes. you know? Yes. So yeah, I, I, I do the things, I, I, I find a beat, <clears throat> I write the first verse, I record it, and I tell him, you know, this is a rough recording just for you to get an idea of what of the, song the song is, yeah. yeah. I send it to him, he doesn't reply for like a couple of months. Okay. And I'm like, oh my God, he hates me. He Let's hates the pause. verse. I'm a terrible right. rapper. Okay. Damn, what's <laughs> going on mentally for these three months? Because now you're like, 
bro, I got an opportunity of a lifetime. I got the beat, recorded, sent it to this man. Now this man has ghosted me. Yo. Not even a received thanks, nothing. Just goes quiet. I'm like, oh my God. I messed yep. up. I'm a terrible rapper. I should quit. I should stick to acting. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah, that. That's what's going on in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but I surrender it, you know? I, I, I pray over everything. So I pray and I say, you know, I did my best. You know, in my opinion, in my mind, that verse was very great. This beat is very great. If he doesn't mess with it, that's fine. I did my best. So I surrendered. I hand it over. That's cool. I carry on, you know, recording these little, you know, freestyles and everything. And then I decide, because people are like, where can we find these freestyles to download? Because I only have them on my Instagram at this point. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool. What would happen if I just put them together and then I released like a little EP, which would then turn into my first project um, of Angels and Ancestors, okay. which is like a collection of little freestyles yes, that yes, I like yes. recorded and mixed and mastered myself very badly okay. in my little studio okay. situation. That's why it's not on Spotify or... Um, it's on... It should be on Spotify. It should be. It's on... It, it's definitely on Apple Music. Trust Let me, me say I'm, that. I'm a fan okay, of, my bad. It's, it's definitely there. on Apple on Apple Music. Okay. Yeah, because at the time I was using like I won't say like the the platform for distribution, like mm. online distribution, mm. but it wasn't great, okay. you know. So I don't think it got to the places where uh, it, needed it needed to be. To be okay. Also, couldn't afford for it to. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, a lot of things, things. A lot of things. I feel you. So anyway, I put that together, um, and while I'm putting that together. Stogie replies, and he replies on some, I got you. Then he starts rapping his verse. I'm like, oh, oh we're back. Let's go. I was so excited. I was so excited. I might, I might have dropped like a, yeah, a thug a tear. Yeah. I might have dropped a thug tear, yeah. you know, there. but I was like, <laughs> you know, and immediately, obviously, I prayed and I said, thank you. You know, what, whatever the delay was, it, 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 it was meant to happen. Mm. And I think we're both now at a place where this song can come together. So yeah, we got into the studio and, and we recorded the song. It. Yeah. And food and liquor. Wow. Yeah. Right. And for me, I just wanted like, I didn't even want a hook. Because mm. there's no yes, hook. Yes, yes, I was yes, just yes. like, I just want to rap. Let's rap. I just want to rap. We can make music another time. Mm. I just want to rap. rap. I want to get these raps off. So yeah, we got into the studio. I only had that first verse. And he had his verse. And I was like, man people are going to say, this is Stogie's song. People are going to say, Stogie washed me on of my own. Of course. Track. You know how so rap after, are. <clears throat> Yeah, so after, after those two verses, I went and I came back with that third verse. Mm. And I was like, there's no way. I need to sandwich his verse. Mm. So they know it's my song. <laughs> Even if he washes me, but at least they know it's they my song. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Exactly. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's a beautiful song. And um, we shot a video for it. Yes. Um, and we actually shot that video on the set of a show I was doing, Blood Sounds. So they were tearing down the set, and I spoke to the director, and I was like, yo, can I, can I shoot here? And he's like, yeah, if you can shoot around people tearing down the set, because they built a whole, like, whole castle. They built the, the, the set. Okay. And it's set, you know, ancient, you know, Egyptian yes. vibes, and it's, you know, set in old Africa before you know, white people before colonization, you know. <clears throat> so there's a lot of beautiful things, you know, that they built. And he's like, yeah, no, come through. We're tearing it down. But Let's if go. you can find your spots and shoot guerrilla style, do it. I'm down. So then we did that. He came through for that. And yeah, food and liquor, the video. Out. Out, yeah. And the yeah. Zulu maker is born. I th in I, terms I of think I think that's what yeah I think that's what pretty much got me there okay. you know so by the time I did drop of angels and ancestors people were already looking out for more of my yeah, stuff she has like the song oh with Stogie. yeah okay. let's listen to this let's listen to this okay. then from that <clears throat> song with Stogie and that initial EP mm. is then how I got onto Stalo's Stalo. radar okay. which is the next phase of Zoom. okay yeah. Um, I want to double click and open a folder, mm -hmm. right, called Truth mm -hmm. and Religion, mm -hmm. right? Your music and even just in our <coughs> conversation, you speak a lot about truth, right? How did you center yourself? Because in, in the world that we live in, when people seek for truth, right, they either go 
the spiritual lane to find truth or they go the scientific lane, right? Mm. You seem to lean more into the spiritual side of um, truth. When did, when did religion or spirituality become a defining factor for who you are and the music you make? And how do you, as a person in the rap game, how do you remain in truth? Mm. Because that's such a difficult thing. Like yeah, you spoke, yes. your peers, most of them are lying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you stay grounded in your spiritual truth? So the music that I started to make at the time was a reflection of my own spiritual journey. Okay. So because I felt like I was distracted, you know, by a whole lot of things, I knew that my life had to change. I knew that the life I was living, and I, on a personal level, you know, I just like my interactions with people, partners, you know, if you listen to the love songs that I have, it's, it's speaking about sort of very sort of toxic, very toxic. Par partnerships that I've had. And, and that was my life at the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And I knew that life had to change. So as soon as COVID hit and the world got quiet, my life got quiet and that's when I could hear God mm -hmm. for the first time in a long time. Okay. That's when I can hear the guidance, mm -hmm. you know? So the music I made was just in a reflection of that of voice. That. And your mentality <clears throat> and your perspective at that exactly. time. Exactly. Okay. Knowing that life has to be different. And just my ideas then on how life can be different and how life can be better. And it's crazy that you say that once you stood in that truth, mm. things started happening yeah. for you. Yeah. Like, damn. Okay. Let's get back to Stay Low. Yeah. So how do you even meet the guys at Stay Low? What's happening? Do they reach out to you? Yeah, yeah. So I was just, you know, obviously trying to push the music I was pushing at the time mm. with the limited resources, resources that I had. Oh, hell yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I knew I, I also could use the, 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 the popularity I'd gained from my acting, you know. Mm. So, mm. so I, I, you know, calling in certain favors because you know a director, because you know a this so and you, you know what I mean? I, I tried to, yeah, yes. at the time. And yes. I mean, it worked, uh, it, thank God. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing on the socials and Fred DMs me, Fred Kayembe. Okay. And I don't know, I think I posted uh, like a, something from Earl Sweatshirt, like a clip. And we start talking about it, we start talking about it, we start talking about it. And then he's like, hey, listen, um, a business partner of mine is doing something with uh, sports scene studios. Mm -hmm. And can I forward your number? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, see where it goes. I'm not sure how, well, how you know, been, but, but let's see how it goes. I'm like, yeah, of course. That's when then I get in touch with Vaughn. So Vaughn gets okay. in touch with me and says, listen, sports scene studios doing this and this and that. Um, we have one of our producers and he is a big fan of your work and he would like to work with you on this song for the sports scene okay. uh, gig. Um, and I was like, cool. Let's and go. That's when I meet Shooter, Shooter Coops. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we, 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 we step into that studio and I mean, just the energy is there from the beginning, you know. He's a great guy. He's a super talented um, musician. Yeah. Um, and then I come in with my raps and it's just like, you know. Synergy. Yeah. yeah. He actually still wanted to drop that sports scene track somewhere on the internet somewhere. But it, yo, we need it's that. It's them, yo, yeah. Can you guys uncover that song, yo, and hit us <laughs> with the Yeah, yeah, comments. yeah. No, yeah, for sure, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but it's also like, it was very much, you know, lyrically what Zulu Mecca was about, was about at the time. Yes. You know what I mean? The first lines, I was like, um, sweet baby Jesus, save your people, save your people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was yeah. like, it's that yeah. kind of thing, like yeah. very much where I was at at the time yeah. and all I could rap about at the time, yeah. you know? Um, but it was a beautiful song. And then, um, yeah, Vaughn was like, let's have chats, man. You got a manager? Let's I'm talk. like, I don't, I don't uh. know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, label, um, yeah, I don't know, yeah. what that, you know what I mean? I was very much like, I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I've been doing this thing. I feel very much new to it, even though I've been doing it for so long, mm. I still feel very new. And he's like, yeah, man, look, if you're interested, let's have conversations about how yeah. we can, 
enhance what you're doing and 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 help what and help you do what you want to do and oh, shout out to what you want. shout out to four shout out to shooter shout out to yeah. shout out to stay low man yeah, shout, out sure. to stay shout out to the team yeah when i think of stay low i think of tde right and i think of tde because i feel like stay low allows its artist to be centered in that truth mm. whatever their truth is mm. i feel like they don't try and yeah. nah, we can't sell that you have to do this put on a mini skirt yeah. do this you know what i mean no they they've allowed me to be exactly who i am you and are. then they've said how can we take this and then amplify it. amplify it. I love be that. exactly who dress the way you want to dress yeah. talk the way you rap about what you want to rap about yeah. Yeah. We, our job is to sell it. You, you don't have to worry about, am I, I going to sell it? Yeah. That's our job. So I'm, Just make the art. Yeah, so I think, you know, I have definitely was guided to, because I could have been in any other deal. Yes. I could have I could have been signed to somebody else. Percent. I could have that 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 you know would have ended badly and tried to change me mm. and said no we need we need a little more commercial this and mm. whatever but I really was guided because I once again pray over my journey all the time. Mm. I feel like I was guided to exactly where you need to where be. I need to be. Yeah. Okay. So when do you guys start working on the project uh, web? Yeah. Uh Fable came first. Oh, Fable came first, which was Three, three songs. tracks. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's crazy though because I say Fable came first because Fable was released first, but Wept was ready first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wept was okay. ready first, but we almost we felt like we almost needed to test the waters mm. Mm. in mm. terms of like also how we work together, mm. Zulu mm. Mecca and Stay Low. Okay. Um, you know, we sort of needed to to figure each. It's like going on a coffee date before you do dinner. Yes, you know what yes, I'm saying? yes. It's, it's like, like yo, I gotta test your wife. <laughs> exactly like, over a sh a, a, a shorter thing before that. we get to the real the I real date. That. You know, so so yeah. So we dropped um, Fable, and yeah, it took me by surprise how well people responded yeah. to it. Yeah. Just three little tracks, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah. people really, really loved it. Um, people loved my work with Shooter Coops, obviously, and Mars Baby, um, being on Head Over Healing, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah it did really well. <clears throat> Do you get bitches, uh -huh. right? <laughs> I think it's such an interesting song because once again, it's like you standing in truth, right? It's yeah. like, the question I have is really a uh, purist versus commercialization mm. right and I feel like that song deals with that and I mean even like people like Jay I say Jay's name because he's my favorite rapper yeah. of all time right? Same. and yeah. he speaks about um, truthfully I want to rhyme like common sense but I did five mil I mean yeah, rhyming like, like common, common sense, sense right yeah and I feel like that song is you like battling in your mind of like Everyone else, if I want to make money off this shit, I have to make commercial music. But then also, who you are as a person would completely go against that. Mm. Like, how was that process of writing that song? <clears throat> that song for me, to be quite honest, is almost like a disclaimer, mm, right? Mm, mm, and the reason mm. why I, I like that I dropped it so early is that every time I write something, I have to feel like I'm navigating between making, talking about the things I want to talk about, mm. but then also making myself relatable to people. Mm. Because <clears throat> I don't only want to make music for people who read the same books I read yes. or who watch the same shows Niche. I watch. I don't I only want to do that. I could, but I don't really want to. Mm. I want my music, I feel like my music has to reach as many people as possible. Yes. I feel like that's part of the purpose, yes. part of my journey. So every time I write something, every
Every time I choose a beat, every time I step into studio, that those are the two worlds that I'm navigating, mm. right? And I have to, you know, even if the, the verse is intricate, the hook must be catchy or okay. feature someone that can sort of bring it into another realm. Mm. That's always mm. what I'm thinking about. Mm. So for me, that song was almost like a disclaimer, like, guys, I, I know y'all know I can really rap mm. and I can go really abstract mm. if I want to. But when you start hearing me adopt some of those trends, mm. don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Because at the end of the day, I need to make a living off this thing I love so true, much. True, true. As much as I'm pouring into it, mm. I need to see some returns. Mm. So yeah, that's what I was just warning people. Like, yeah. Yo, know, don't be surprised. When I get a singing nigga on the hook, don't be, don't surprised. be surprised. You know that I, I told y'all it was going to happen, I you know? Okay. Um, but yeah, it's always about trying to reach as many people as possible while remaining true to who I am as an artist. Okay. Yeah. So Whipped is done. Yeah. And yo, sing forever. Yo. <laughs> yo. I think that's the song where I was like, okay, now I'm a Zulu Mecca fan. Nice. Like I'm, I'm not even, yeah. you can't convince me otherwise, yeah, right? Yeah. So the project is done. What are you anticipating for putting it out? Like, do you have any, like, um, predetermined thoughts are you thinking okay this one is really gonna change my life or are you not even thinking like that at all i, I don't I, i'm i'm surprised every time people like or mm. want to hear the things i have to mm. say because okay. in my mind i don't know i think these thoughts are just my own mm. you know mm. and when I share them, when I do a song like Sing Forever or Do Happy People Make Good Arts, those are things that mm. I mm. think about mm. and I don't think people want to know that. Like, I don't I know, do it. you know what I mean? I'm I like, do. no, these are just my old musings. and yeah. uh, So, so <clears throat> I have no expectations. I was also wasn't in a great space when I wrote that project. So I'd sort of like handed it over. Okay. I'd sort of like surrendered it. Okay. And it's like, whatever's meant to happen. Will like, happen. I'm just sad right now. So, I hear, I hear <laughs> you know that. what I mean? I um, so, I so um, yeah, it comes out and man, the reception is mm. crazy. Mm. Crazier than anything I've ever experienced, mm. you know? Mm. I'm like, man, y'all really, y'all like me like oh, that? Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. Really fucking with me like that. Yeah, and, and it's crazy for me because I, I know I can rap, right? But I do have these moments where I'm just like, surely y'all don't think I can rap like that. I get that. Why, why are people that. off of like, wept saying top five this and, and I'm like, whoa. Maybe because you're the sure, person bro. creating the art. Yeah. But when we hear it, we're like, oh my goodness. I'm rarely impressed with myself. That's crazy. I'm really impressed with myself. What? I tell myself I'm whack all the time. I swear. I swear. And that's the thing that I suppose, you know, the, what's great about my team is that they try to get me out of that. Mm. Because I can sit on a verse because it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. And they can be like, no, it's great. It's You're great. a genius. Drop yes. the song. Put it out. You know? But you go through. Bro, that's crazy. Because I believe you've reached excellence with your craft in terms of putting words together that are grounded in intention, mm. right? I think you've reached like excellence in Thank your you. craft. Um, it's like listening to Lupe Fiasco or something. Like every time I hear it, I'm like, yeah. oh. Make us great. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you so much. So it comes out, it does what it does. Yeah. When do you start working on themes? I dropped Webbed. <clears throat> 2022, right? 2022. Mm. Didn't drop anything uh, last year. Yeah, 23. Yeah, because I didn't want to make the same project. I think mm. that I. If had I immediately started working on more music, it would have because been yeah, because I was like, oh, people really like that. I, I just that. would have made Web 2.0. I hear that. So I had to go away and say, okay, do I want to make different kind of music? Do I want to make the same kind of music? But also, you know, let me live some life. Let me, let me. Mm. And I, mm. Mm. you know what I said? I said this to Shooter and after Web dropped, I was like, nah, I'm just gonna you know, go live my life. 
you know, get my heart broken a few times. Mm. I shouldn't have said that because it <laughs> happened, bro. It <laughs> happened. Oh, no. oh my God. God. Oh, no. I manifested that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but the universe went, yeah. oh, that's oh, what okay. you want to write okay. about? That's what Say you want to do? Shut We got you. Mm. You know? Uber delivery. Let's Oof, go. Yeah. Straight to the door. Yeah, let's straight to, to my door. door. <laughs> oh, but, um... Man. Yeah, anyway, like a lot of other things happened as well because I also said to Shuda, you know, I want to go, I want to make some money, I want to, you know, to, and that happened too, you know, like, like so life happened and I wanted it to because then I could like write about it. Yes, that's your source. That's now. my source, you know what I mean? So when I'm writing a song like Leave with Marcus Harvey based on... <laughs> This is a heartbreak. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can even feel the heartbreak through that. I was yeah, like, yeah, no, I'm dog. Like, who did Mecca do it? Bro, I'm telling you. I feel you. But it's also, you know, taking accountability for the things that I've done wrong. I love that about you. You are so balanced. You never lean too much mm. on one side. You'll be like, yeah, um, she broke my heart, but then I was also a piece of shit. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I love that. I'm not afraid to, 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 because what people, I think, started to put on me mm. was, you know, and I felt this very early in like of angels and ancestors time and, you know, all that the, 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 uh, food and liquor time. Yeah. yeah. I felt like people felt like I was like the Oracle, okay. like I could do no wrong. Like I have all the answers. Yes. And I said, I have to stop this right, right now, now because the thing that I know is that I don't have the answers. Mm. I'll ask the questions and I'll ask the right questions, but I don't have the answers. The answers. I love that. That's the wisdom you see in me, the wisdom, the wisdom to ask the right the questions, question. yeah. not because I have all the answers. Okay. So I've made it <clears throat> almost, a, not a point, but like I've, I've, I've made sure that I always include the fact that I'm only human and I'm, mm. I'm not perfect mm. and that I do mess up mm. and in my imperfection as long as I'm always seeking good and seeking truth and seeking God then 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 that's how I win mm. not because I already know everything yeah you know yeah. what I mean yeah, yeah. I get that you know? I mean even on that song with uh, Marcus mm. you say um, therapy and prayer beats Still a I'm piece still of shit. Still a piece of shit. Like I love the honesty. And then like, I say I'm self-aware at least. Yes, yes. At yes, least yes, I'm yes, self-aware. I oh know man, I'm a piece of shit. I get that. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Thank you. Uh, what was the time period of recording scene? Like how long did it take? Like, did you know you wanted Marcus? Um, End of the world is such a great record. Thank it's, you. <sighs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what's the 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 man uh that happened pretty quick towards the end there but i think i started writing for it late last year okay yeah okay. i started writing for it late last year okay. and then started getting into studio with like your marcus um um Wilson. yeah but like you guys all of that happened this together. year I mean, that's mm -hmm. the new excuse me yeah exactly so the last song um, that I did for that was iller than, but the last collaboration that I did was End of the World. Because okay. um, okay. I had been sitting on that concept mm. for a very long time, actually, okay. probably since 2022. I'm like, I want to write a song like this. I want to write a song like this. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. Okay. And so when I heard that Mars Baby beat, because that's a Mars Baby production, mm. And it didn't feel like I was rapping the whole time. It just mm. felt like, mm. let's mm. pretend mm. it's the, you know what I mean? I, I was like, yeah, I'm almost I, like, I'm not singing, but I'm just like having a conversation yes. like this. It literally week. sounds like a conversation. With exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so once I discovered that, I put it down and then I was like, Marge, you got to jump on the, on the second mm. uh, 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 verse. A verse yeah. And then uh, we got to get kids on the hook. Yeah. Yeah. And You're for me, that was, yeah. Yeah. You ever see? Yeah, yeah. So, so that, yeah, all of this is happening like between, yeah, April and May. Okay. Because we dropped it in June. Yeah, literally. Yeah, in like June. it's happening okay. quick. Because I mean, you know, we, we, when, once it's time to zone in, we zone in. We zone in. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's your perspective on sitting on music for long periods of time? Um, I always use this example of Kanye talking about making all of the lights mm. and how he spent like eight months mm. working on that one song. Mm. Are you the type of person to get into the zone, record as much as you want, and then 
mix and master the music and then put it out? Mm-hmm. Or would you rather record a song and then sit on it for months and like let it fester in your mind and I would yeah. probably sit on it for months, but okay. Vaughn's like Yeah, he's like, yo, bro, <laughs> yo. Bro, okay. we gotta drop something. Yeah, we gotta, Give me gotta something, something to work with. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I gotta make I gotta make it make sense, you okay. know, business wise. Okay. So okay. um but yeah, I'm very much because you you know, if you write something um, and then you leave it and you come back with a fresh perspective, you mm. can improve mm. on it. Yes, you can. You can definitely you can. improve on it. You, you know more, you've listened to more music, you've lived more life. And I'm not even talking about, it doesn't have to be months, even just one month. True. You know, so I have a lot of verses that I write and then I'll leave. Ah. I won't necessarily say, let's get this in the studio now. Okay. That's very rare for me okay. to do. Yeah. Damn, yeah. fuck, I'm learning so much <laughs> about like this your creative um, operation or yeah. method, I guess. Um, how does it feel having the new EP out? Yeah, um, yeah it's been a month and a bit. Uh, it was a month, it was a, yeah, it's a yeah, month. It's, it's a, a month, month actually. Now. Yeah, it was a month yesterday. Um, how do you measure success once again for someone who's very focused on making music that's intentional mm. like how do you measure success Be- for your music mm. um because i always you know never expect people to want to listen and then re-listen and re-listen mm. to my music mm. i have been paying more attention to the numbers recently okay. Okay. You know, I'll see, I'll see the analytics and okay. I'll be like, oh snap, people are re-listening and this is the song that they're responding to. Um, because I, I never, I, I, I didn't imagine I made songs with re- replay value. Mm. You know, I, 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 I thought people would experience this song and say, wow, you know, and then keep that was moving. great. I, I that. love it, keep it moving. Keep it moving. But I, yeah. I never imagined that like people could just some people are like, yo, dog, I listen to this project every day. Mm. I'm like, whoa, I don't even do that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love my music, but yeah, I but don't like, even do that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that for me is, is just someone going back. Okay. Because clearly that they, there's something there. Value. Yeah, that's how Dope. I measure success. I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I didn't picture you as someone who's like sitting there like, oh, no, we need to get this to 100,000 streams. We need to do this and... I'm sh- I was, I'm shocked, you know, at those numbers. I'm like, yeah. oh snap, we yeah. got to a hundred on, on Spotify. That. You know what I mean? I like, but I'm not like concerned with the how. Okay, okay, yeah. I love it when it happens, and I am very grateful mm. when it happens when I see that people are responding well. But yeah, okay. my job is at this point. You're my done. job is to yeah, you're done. Yeah, you guys enjoy I've the had, Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, let's switch gears. Mm-hmm. So I always talk to every guest about the evolution of dreams, right? Mm-hmm. The evolution of their own dreams. So your dream um, obviously got you in stage when you were in school, which then led you to go and study like drama, which then led you to the acting path, which then brought you back to the music, right? Mm-hmm. What's a new dream for Zulu Mecca? today Mm. that she didn't have a year ago two years ago six months ago wow that's a new dream for zulu mecca today because now you've entered the door i mean you got into the building through the acting right yeah and then the music door was right there and then you walked in and then now it's like another part of the building that has so many different doors that you can enter what's a new door that you want to walk through the beautiful thing again you know about the, the, the team that i'm with is be, is that there's so much potential for worldwide reach mm, mm, mm. this is these are a, a people who have strong connections oh, yeah we know the state low guys to, <laughs> yeah, we know. to 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 you know you know people that can really take my music mm. and put it on a global level mm. so for me that's the next midterm goal okay is really you know i've been working on myself the artist development has been happening Mm. working on my live performances Mm. 
you know, rapping on the treadmill, trying to get my lungs I right. Hear you, you know yeah, the breath control. Breath control. You know, yeah, I've been working control. on myself so that by the time, and I know it's going to happen, mm. by the time I'm on a global stage, mm. you can't fault me yeah. on anything I because I have put in the work. So that's the short term goal is preparing myself for that. The midterm okay. goal is getting there. Okay. And the long term goal is staying there. Okay. I love <laughs> yeah. that. I yeah. love that's that. one that's one of them. I mean on another um uh on another plane it's it's the business. Mm -hmm. I wanna get more into into okay. into the business, business. Yeah. i don't know if i'm gonna do the business of entertainment though mm. i don't know if i'm mm. interested in that i want to stay here as an artist i don't know if i'll become an executive okay. in this realm, in this realm. Yeah, yeah if i do business it'll be completely unrelated to okay you know okay. to 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 entertainment okay but that's what i want to explore now i know? love that yeah damn like okay um is there a timeline for when we get zulu maker's debut album <laughs> You know, no, I, I get in trouble. Know. I get in trouble whenever I speak about, about that. Okay. timelines because I'll say something because that's the conversation, the latest conversation. Mm. But it's hard until the music is actually completed and made and submitted. It's very difficult because anything can happen, things can change. Yeah, so yeah, I've said yeah. before, you know, I, I, I'm dropping now and then things have to change, yes, and now yes, I look yes. like. Uh, I look like a yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I so I won't speak about timelines, but I, what I will say is that music is being made, created, and created as we speak. <laughs> okay. I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, as we're winding down on the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. What's your last piece of advice to anyone out there, the dreamers, mm -hmm. the people who want to go out there and? turn their dreams into reality, mm. um, but unsure, uh, maybe they're working a nine to five, maybe mm. they're in university, maybe they're in high school. Mm. What's your last piece of advice to the dreamers out there? Whew. Man, I suppose for me, it's something that I was glad someone told me back in the day when I started, mm. you don't only have to do one thing. Mm. There's a lot of people out there that will try to convince you, no, focus on one thing, you can't do everything. Jack of all trades, master of yeah, none. I know that bullshit. Ne negative yeah. Nancy's That's out like there, your, you know what I mean? Don't put your perspective on what you can do on exactly. me. Exactly. Yes. You can't yes. do everything. You can't do everything. <laughs> Jay can't. even say that. Yes. Yeah, Jay even say yes. that in the interview. Yes. But yeah, yes. like, like, you don't have to do one thing. If you are an artist, I believe that you are, you have the potential to create all kinds of art. Mm. Do that. Mm. If it feels like something you have to do, do that. Even if you're making the decision because you have to pay rent, do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Not everything has to be deep. Sometimes you have to make a living mm. of this art thing that you've invested so much time in. Mm. Let it start repaying you. Go out there and explore everything it has to offer. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> this has been an amazing conversation. I enjoyed I it so much. Yeah. Um, yo, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back with another episode of Dead Radio from your boy Ini. And you're live on Dead Radio. <laughs> <laughs>